Welcome to the Ministry of Flat. My name is Eskil Steenberg, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the fully automated UV unwrapper that I've been developing. This is the UI version of the tool. I'm going to start by loading an OBJ file. I'm going to pick a AVP rifle. So this is a 3D model that has been downloaded off the internet. And in about one and a half second, it was able to unwrap this 3D model completely. Now, I can't stress this enough. This was done completely automatically. There's no scenes to be drawn. There's nothing that has been prepared in advance. This is the model as it came off the internet into my computer. So as you can see, it's done a pretty good packing job. You can tell that there's different colors for different parts, and that's because the algorithm isn't really one algorithm. It's almost 30 different algorithms that attacks different type of geometry. So for instance, you can see the scope has been unwrapped as one big sheet. And when I unwrap it, you can see it's this big square down here. So it actually works to em emulate what a human artist would do. This tool is being developed together with a number of artists that are working on AAA game titles. So it's actually designed to do exactly what they do by hand, but do it automatically. So let's try some other models. So I'm going to show you a super low poly model. This is a siege tank. So you can see it's um, very, very um, dense. And when you unwrap it, you can see that it's cut out everything into little islands. And the islands are rotated in a very specific way so that you can see that the direction of the pixels go in the direction of the geometry. This makes it much, much easier to paint and you get a much higher quality model. So let's try something else. Let's try a model from Homeworld. So this is a tricky model because it's uh, a soft surface, but with a bunch of little trinkets that are hard surface modeling. So uh, you can see that it's figured out what parts are soft and what parts are hard and has treated them differently. It also works for characters. So I'm going to use a, uh, a piece of some cloth here. So th this is a character model and you can see uh, for the shirt, it's cut off the arms. It's cut them very similar to how it's actually made. And you can see this sleeve here has a single uh, cut that is on the underside of the arm in order to be hidden. And when you look at the packing, it's incredibly tight. Um, this model is actually very tricky because it has a bunch of like errors in it that the artist made. So uh, it really makes it difficult to do proper UV mapping. Um, I can show another character. Let's do a clean sculpt character. So this is a character for a sculpt. You can see it's found all the limbs. Again, it's cut off the legs properly. And when we do a show the unpack, it looks really tight. Um, you can also try a character from a game. So let's try Mercy from Overwatch, which is a more complex model have all these little pieces. And again, you can see how the flow of the geometry and the flow of the pixels goes in the same direction. So you can see the arms have been unwrapped into two straight parts that are um, easy to paint. And especially that gets the direction of the pixels in the right way. So next, uh, let's try a car. So I have a Camaro here. And here again, you can see it's been UV mapped pretty well. And you can see all the seams are following where you would want the seams on a car, all the panels. And here's the unwrap, and it's pretty tight. So uh, you can also use this for things like uh, level design. So I have a teeny tiny piece of level here, which is a street scene. And uh, this model is actually kind of tricky because it has very large pieces like the piece underneath and then very small pieces with the windows and things like that. But you can see it's all gotten unmapped pretty well. So on top of this, you have a bunch of options. So if you go into settings, um, you can set the texture resolution and it will actually guarantee that there will be two pixels between every 
island, so you'll never get any bleeds or anything like that. You can also tell it to separate any hard edges. That's really important if you're doing things like light mapping. You can set the aspect ratio of your texture if you want. You can use the normals, and that basically means that the, if the model has normals built in, it will use that those to figure out what is a hard surface and what's a soft surface. Um, I'm going to turn that off because the next model I have is actually broken, so the normals aren't correct in that, so therefore the algorithm has to try to guess what the normals should be. So we're going to see the result of that in a second. It also has uh, the ability to overlap identical parts and also mirrored parts that are overlapped. Um, that can save you some texture space um, if you have objects with a lot of repetition. So you also have a bunch of debug settings. So there's a whole bunch of settings and these have to do with all the different stages that uh, the model go through. Normally you should never have to touch these, uh, but they're available if you want to play around. So now for my final model, I'm going to load in a uh, Titan from Titanfall 2. This is a fairly complex model and uh, takes a little bit longer. And this is really the kind of model that you wouldn't want to do by hand. Um, so you can see it's a fairly complex thing. And here it is. And you can see all the different colors mean that different uh, parts have been taken care of by different algorithms. You can even see the internals of the cockpit and everything. So this would obviously be days of work to unwrap by hand, but here it's been done in little over 10 seconds. So this is the um, UI version that an artist can use, but there's also another version available which is a command line version. And this command line version allows you to do the exact same thing, uh, but compute it in, in a command line. That means you can build an automated scripting environment. You can set up a pipeline or do anything where you want to automate the process. You can also call this from your content creation tool. Um, it also allows you to uh, get access to all the settings. So you can see all the settings that are available in the UI version are available as command line settings. That's really everything. So I want to thank you for watching. Uh, you can go to ministryofflat.com where you can download the demo and you can also inquire about licensing it. It's now available for studios and for freelancers who are interested in using it in their production. Thank you very much.